so Pitman and Flipman. Well, they've really been evolving probably over the last 20 years, I suppose, and I created them because I was looking for some way to explain the dichotomy of life. Well, very early on in my career, I was a sales trainer and I was actually perplexed by why you could take two people who had very similar backgrounds, very similar experiences, who really had similar temperaments, but one would fly and the other would absolutely not even get off the ground. And so I started researching human behavior and started studying it and even through my own observations. And I realized that most of us operate from unconscious habit. And a lot of the time it's negative and we're not even aware of it. Well, Pitman actually came about because I trained two teenage boys uh, and uh, on separate occasions, they didn't know each other, but they both took their life because of their high school leaving result. And it just floored me. I was absolutely devastated by it. And I remember being in the training room and I drew the pit uh, on the flip chart and I knew exactly how they felt because I had been there too. And, uh, and when I was a teenager, I didn't know how to get out of it either. And so Pitman just really developed over time. I wanted to show people a way to get out of that really horrible place. And so as the years went on, I just added more and more to the whole pit story. So now we have, of course, you know, when we're in the pit, we have our pit posture with our pit prattle and we have our pit dog, which is, you know, a pit bull. <laughs> we also have our pit parties with our pit pals and it's just that place that we go to when it's everybody else's fault and you know we blame the whole world I like socks. i'm not talking about real emotion when i talk about the pit i'm not talking about grief or sadness or genuine frustration you know appropriate anger they're real emotions i'm talking about the negativity that stops us moving forward well, the second half of this duo, of course, is Flipman. And Flipman is my way of explaining everything that I've learned over the years about how to change human behavior. And of course, like we said before, we have an unconscious patterning, an unconscious habit. And what we need to do is repattern. Neurons that fire together, wire together, that's Hebb's law. And so I thought, well, if maybe we could create like a system or a process that might help people to actually keep disciplined enough until they grow that new neural pathway. And so our five step process for Flipman is see, say, feel, do, and be. And so we see it, we make a visual, we say it, we get the right auditory dialogue happening. We feel it, that's the kinesthetic. We make sure we have that alignment for our feeling. We do it, we, take the, we do the behaviours and take action that's aligned to that. And of course you do that for long enough, you do see, say, feel, do long enough, you be. It becomes integrated. You know, the great thing about Flipman is that he's really the pattern interrupt that we need when we're in the pit. You know, that when you're in the pit, we blame everybody else, we blame our past, we blame you know, our current situation, we blame our work, our partner, you name it. When you're in a Flipman state or a flip state, well, then you actually know that you put you there and, and in any moment we get to choose how we actually go forward. Well, it really is my hope that these two adorable characters, which are now children's books and, you know, they're the main characters in my um, adults book. I really do hope that they help people to find a very simple but very powerful way to snap us back into reality. It really is about momentum and compounding whatever thought we're having. And we can compound down much easier than we can, you know, compound and get momentum upwards. So. I'm just hoping that people make the choice to not hang out with Pitman for too long.